the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love, they love money and the fame, fame, fame. What up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro jumping back into Planet Crafter. All right, guys, we picking up where we left off. Man, I've been doing a lot of grinding in between episodes, and we've been getting a lot done. We've been expanding. We've been finding resources. Check this out. I, uh, I actually expanded this room, had to move it out a little bit just to make more space if you didn't see that. And I got my screens up here. I'm probably get one more screen in a bit when that, uh, when that opens up. Uh, added a couple more lockers and been doing more organizing with our resources, iron, titanium, uh, cobalt. I have silicone and magnesium in it together right now. I probably put another one here. This side is for the rarer resources, iridium, uranium, aluminium. And um, I probably put another rare one here, maybe even make some more room and keep the lockers going or just stop right here. I was debating on that. Y'all let me know in the comments, should I keep going, open this wall up or stop my lockers here and combine them? Maybe I won't need that many resources. All right. So as you know, we have the crafting station, the advanced craft station. Now we can craft uranium rise, iridium rise. It takes nine of each of the resources. Haven't found a uh, cave yet or uranium, so we'll probably have to do some exploring, but I do have enough to make a rod. We'll probably use that. You can make rocket engines, you can make jetpacks, uh, backpack tier four, and oxygen tank tier four. Now I've already made backpack tier four, so look at all these slots we got available. That's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 28 slots. This is still the, oh, this is T4 backpack. This is still the tier two exoskeleton. And I still have the tier three tank. So I want to upgrade that. We might get that done this episode. I added another grow tank and I actually was exploring and I found this here. This is like a mushroom. Uh, oh, I thought I planted this one. Oh, I didn't plant anything in here. Let's see, grow speed zero. So let's go ahead and add a seed. I got squash, uh, eggplants. Haven't grown any eggplants, but I think eggplants don't give you as much. Let's put that in there. Bam, we good to go. You see all these seeds I have, these Lirima, uh, the Shanga, which is 150, the Pestra, which is 200, and the Nunla, the Nulna, which is 300%. All right, now I added another heater right here. Uh, so this is producing 450 and 450. But we've unlocked quite a bit. Um, I actually put this here, boom. And I added the satellite dish. So we actually get some messages in from this satellite interceptor type joint. Then I got a few other things to show you guys. Added a few more power sources. Of course we needed power. Uh, another drill right there, that's the tier three. Man, we've been get, get, getting it. Um, in regard to the terraforming stage, my screens was up a little higher so I could see the bottom, but we're in the rain stage. Okay, I got blue sky. Then we got rain. I'm trying to remember was it one in between that. Now we're at the liquid water stage. So that's the next stage, the liquid water stage. And the heater added a bit of pressures from the drill. Uh, we're getting to a thousand PPTs or whatever that next unit will be. And I have biomass. I'm gonna show y'all what biomass is for. Our full terra formation is 1.32. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what biomass is for, all right? So we've unlocked quite a bit. I've unlocked this launch platform, unlocked the atmospheric water collection, uh, unlocked the flower pot, the biodome. I want to do the biodome, but we'll probably do the heater three first. We also unlocked the nuclear reactor one and this ore extractor. Now the ore extractor is interesting. The ore extractor, let's look at the ore extractor. I would love to do the ore extractor because I feel like wherever you place it, you're going to get that type of ore depending on that biome. Os osmium is something we need. Don't know where osmium is, okay? Uh, in regard to the nuclear reactor, uranium rod, I do have enough uranium. I found that in the place we explored, that big ship, that big satellite looking thing. Uh, for uranium, grass spreader, water collector, automatically collects water from human ambient. I don't know if that will help us to make a lake or if that's just water we can drink. I am not sure. Still haven't done anything with the recycling machine. And then the ore extractor, again, we'll have to test that out. And the biodome says perfect place to grow plants 
and generate O2. Let's see if we can make this nuclear reactor. So we're gonna make this, this is the only thing that needs a uranium rise. So we will do the nuclear reactor today. That'll be one of our goals. Um, I wanna do the heater as well. So maybe the heater as well, just to get that heat going. But we'll definitely do this nuclear reactor. It'll give us 86 energy and that will prepare us for things like the O reactor. So this right here is the grass spreader. I put it way over here because I wanted to test it out to see what it was, but look at this. It created grass. And this is what's creating the biomass. I don't think you can get anything out of it. That would be cool. But it's producing 108 PPQs of oxygen. It takes 13 energy plus uh, a 0.15 biomass. The growth is at 100%. So I have to do more of these just to make it look grassy. It's mainly for the oxygen and whatnot and the biomass. I don't think the the you can actually grow anything in the grass. I don't know for sure. I did make another uh, veggie tube and I went back down there and got everything out of there. Well, at least all of the rare items. There's still a few things I could collect. Okay, and I did put a door back here as well. So what we're gonna do before we go and do that, and I've stocked up a lot of resources. I do have water. I discovered something. I was down here, you know, just grinding, just farming. I discovered something. There are these special chests in the game. I heard about them, they were gold chests. And earlier, I think in the earlier um, stages of the game, the gold chests would have like the 300% or the 200% boost. Well, now they went above that. They went above that and uh, now you can regularly, at least through exploration, find the 200 and the 300. The gold now is at another level. It done took it to another level. So check this out. If you're ever looking for one of the golds, unless they move around, this is where I found one. Let's look at what's in this jammy. Yo, golden seed, 600% oxygen multiplier. Yo, 600%. Look at this, the golden effigy. Right click the build. And I don't know, this, this is just like a uh, cosmetic it's just a statue or something. That's what it looks like. I don't think it does anything. Iridium ride. Uranium ride. Now I don't even have to craft and use the ones I have. I can save my raw resources for something else. Uh, uranium and aluminum. Ain't that nice. Ain't that all right? Can you break this down? Ooh, you can deconstruct it. I, should I deconstruct it to see what it's made out of? I'm going to leave it just in case there's a chance that something spawns back in it. I think that'll be dope. That's probably a stretch, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and collect a few items while I'm over here. I've also been looking to see if aluminum respawns. It seems like if it does, it's kind of like a daily thing. Oh yeah, we'll go ahead and take all that. Yeah, it seems like if it respawns, it's more of like a daily, oh, there we go. Yeah, I think every day from, from what it's looking like. It seemed like when I waited a day or so, more aluminum popped up. Yep, there we go. So, you know, you can never have enough aluminum. All right, guys, we are back. Look at that view. Look at that view. That is one heck of a view. I mean, let me look at this one more again. Look at that. With the base and the satellite dishes and that planet over there. That is a beautiful view. All right, all right. We need some hydration, so let me go on and hit dot. Now my iron is full. I've actually been kind of using the, the titanium joint just for space. Uh, let's put this aluminum in here. Uh, this mag and, oops, not the titanium. Didn't mean to do that. Let me get that. Actually, let me keep two. It's the titanium. I'm gonna keep two so I can make some more oxygen capsules. Well, four in total to make two oxygen capsules and a water bottle. Bam. We good. Let's see where these have grown. 66, 88. Okay, the growth speed is 0.6 on that. Okay, both of them 0.6. All right, that one was already in there. And this is where I got ice and food. Had these combined at one point. I don't need that many on me. Look at this, 600. So we're gonna have to put another um, tier three veg joint. All right, and let's put this iridium in here and this iridium bar. And then we'll put up the uranium and the uranium bar. I'm probably just gonna keep the uranium because we are gonna craft that jammy. 
I don't even know where to put this golden effigy thing. And I'm still holding on this iron. All right, so first we're gonna make the nuclear reactor. So we need two water bottles. We need three super alloys. Now I believe I have a couple super alloys already in here. Bam, bam. And we can make super alloy. It takes one of each of the, the base resources, iron, titanium, cobalt, magnesium, silicon, and aluminum. Aluminum, even though it's slightly rarer, you actually gotta find it around the way. It is still a base resource technically, and it can drop. Uh, do I make it? And aluminum can drop from the sky with those asteroids, all right? So here's the super alloy, let's craft that. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, that's what I would need. No, I don't even need the uranium rod. I would just need uranium to build these rockets. I need to make two of these rockets for this jetpack. Oh, guys, and that's one other thing. I did upgrade my agility boost speed with this one, and then I went to tier two. So I'm actually like tier two fast. Like, look at that speed. Look at that speed. Give me some speed. But we're gonna do a jetpack, which should make us even faster. And we gotta do this oxygen tank, but we're not doing that right now. So what do we need for our nuclear reactor? That's the heater three. Okay, one more water bottle. We got the uranium rod. I mean, that's that's all we need. It already has all of the other stuff mixed up in it already. All the other resources. All right, all right, all right. So what am I looking for? Water. Now, I don't know if you can put this inside or if it has to go outside. We're going to find out right now. All right, this jammy got to go outside. Okay. Uh, well, these are our power sources. I really don't particularly want a nuclear reactor this close to the base. But I guess even if it's a mile away, it's still, when it blows, it's going to take everything with it. Uh, all right, it ain't going to make that much difference, right? We're going to put it right here with our satellite dishes. Bam. We did that. We did that. Let's go check our energy. Hopefully having a nuclear reactor right beside our base won't cause us to grow a, a three or four extra legs, right? Ooh, we almost at 100 with energy. Look, I kind of want to craft either another reactor or... Well, I don't, I don't want to waste that uranium yet. But I want to put another solar panel down, all right? We're going to do another solar panel just because I want to see this energy over 100. It's just a quirk. It's just a quirk. Eventualize, bam. That's good enough. I ain't gonna even trip. Normally my OCD would make me wanna fix that, but I ain't gonna even worry about it. All right, boom, 118. We nice, we nice, we in there. Yeah, yeah, I get in there. All right, let's see, is this mushroom ready? The mushroom is ready, bam, our first mushroom harvest. And let's put another one back in there and put the seed back in there. Let's see how much the mushroom, 35. Squash is 40. Okay, so the mushroom ain't even, unless they start making recipes or something. I thought the mushroom was gonna be better than that, but it ain't. But we'll eat our first mushroom, boom. A boom, 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 a boom, 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 a bang, 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 bang. All right, we'll go ahead and do this heater tier three. One silicon, titanium, aluminum, and iridium. Uh, what was it? it was silicon titanium i believe silicon yes titanium aluminum there's the titanium silicon i'm gonna have to do a silicon magnesium run aluminium and that iridium ride baby it's uranium let's do it We'll put it over here because I feel like this is going to be larger. Oh, not that much. I could swap one of them guys out or just put it right here. I'm going to put it over here for aesthetics. This is going to be like our heating area. But eventually I put one right there and kind of fill the room up. Maybe put all four and upgrade. All right, bam. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh. All right, wanna, hey, we have perfect 100. That's dope, that's dope. Let's see how the heat is going. All right, that heat moving now. Heat moving much better. Uh, pressure's moving. Oxygen has slowed down quite a bit. 
Now, why did the oxygen stop? That's that's strange. Why did the oxygen stop? All right, so this is the interface for that satellite we put up where we received messages. So let's see. These are different messages that I've come in. This was the first one uh, talking about we're a conv convict. We can commute our sentence. Uh, if we want to be released from all the charges. We got to fully terraform this planet. So that's kind of like the backstory of this game. Uh, sensors will periodically scan and will send us the required blueprints. Don't try to contact Sentinel Corp. Uh, if they don't detect any advancement, we'll be considered missing. The charges won't be dropped. You can not claim property over anything on the planet. I'm allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index. Not allowed to leave the planet until the terraformation is complete. So that's that. Uh, this was the second one. You can pause and read this at your leisure. This was the third one. Uh, you'll be able to grow food for yourself. So this is the new one. Uh, Manage to sneak more information. Read that you have more chances of success if you build your base in altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can, <sighs> it's gone, it's gone. They ain't even finished the message, what? All right, so we are trying to get the heat up. I think it said 10,000. And I've been saving the heat, so my oxygen been going. I think the oxygen so high, it don't even look like it's going fast as in PPBs. But I've been uh, holding off the heat and the pressure as we go through this together. But I think we got to get it up to 10, 10,000, either 1,000 or 10,000 in K, which will melt some of those caves we found. Now I also got to find a uranium cave. Look at that, we got rain, we got rain, yo. It's raining guys. Raindrops, raindrops, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. raindrops, raindrops. Yeah, ain't that crazy? I had a light rain the other day. Now, this is a big rain right here. It's a big rain. Yo. All right, all right. Okay, so we built our heater. We built our nuclear reactor. We're going to have to find osmium. Maybe osmium. Maybe that's what's in those caves. I thought it was this super alloy. It looked like in the caves, it's like a glowing blue, and it looks like the super alloy. But you make the super alloy, it's uh, combined from all of these resources. So that's not it. Okay. Three super alloys. I probably should get this oxygen tank just to expand. Three super alloys and cobalt. Let's see if I can get three super alloys together. Let me go on and drink some aqua. Three super alloys. So we'll do this over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna need some titanium too. Let me make sure I got enough. Okay, woo, just barely enough. Three, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a run of that. One, two, three. All right, so let's craft that. Boom. Let's craft another one. Boom. Let's craft another one. Boom. Boom, boom. Uh, we need one cobalt and the oxygen tank tier three, and we good money. Woo. All right, that's what I'll be doing in between, getting more of my other resources. I stocked up on the aluminum and iron, but we gonna need more. All right, so oxygen tank. Boom, that took us down to 100. Boom. Let's put that back and see. 370, wow, that gives us a lot more wiggle room. And what would I need for another heater? Let's see that once again. Another iridium rod. Okay. So we're going to have to explore. I think there are a few more POIs left to explore. And I probably maybe start the game, uh, start the next episode in a new POI. That way we can knock that out and then try to hopefully we'll find some more iridium until the cave melts. It doesn't look like the iridium cave uh, replenishes the supply. Oh, there we go. Doesn't look like it replenishes. Maybe after this asteroid hits, I'll go check in between. But yeah, the iridium cave that we found, I, cleared, I cleaned it out, but it does have one of those things that needs to melt. So we're gonna wait and see. Iron, silicon, magnesium, cobalt. All right, I need silicon, magnesium, and cobalt. We're gonna put the water collector out there too. We'll do that together. I do wanna see this launch. And on the next one, once we grind up enough, I do this launch platform as well. We need more super alloy, which is gonna take more resources. 
greatly speeds up the terraformation process by sending rockets into space. And I do want to do this biodome. I need three super alloys though. But yeah, I want to see that. So next one, we'll definitely do the biodome. We got our nuclear reactor, heater. We'll go for this water collector to finish it off. And then we'll come back with the biodome. How about that? Uh, how about that? Uh, where the asteroids at? Oh, oh, oh. Look, I want to see him coming in. Yeah, that look like cobalt or aluminum. Is that it? Is it over? Is it over? Look like it's over. Look like it's over. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm going to go do a little collection run, get us a few of these resources we need, and we're going to build those last few items for this episode, guys. All right, see you in a sec. Now, guys, I've just picked up three aluminums from over here. So it looked like the asteroid dropped down quite a few aluminums, and they're, they weren't just over in the aluminum fields. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was the third one I had found. All right, we said we was going to do this atmospheric water cut, and I still got it on me. All right, so I'm going to put this over in the uh, grass area. It's raining right now, too, so this would be the perfect time. I could put it here. Just to keep it closer. Yeah, because you know what? I can make those anywhere. I can make those anywhere. So we're going to do us an atmospheric water. Oh, that's kind of big, though. We'll do it here near the grass. Uh, near the plants that we're growing right here. Now that, I think, is going to make the oxygen start going crazy once again. But can, Do we actually get water from this? Okay, w what are we supposed to put in here? water bottle quench your thirst does this fill up ever so often we'll come back and check this we'll come back and check this to verify that it fills up with water let's see how our power is doing right now 89 okay how much is that water collector okay it only takes 11 so that's actually not bad on the power grid all right so let's craft two compasses one for our person Oh, we need another aluminum. Let's go ahead and add that to our person. Ah, look, now at the top, we got a compass on the hood. Nice, nice, nice. Let's do us a second one. Bam. And now we can build us a screen right here. Ah, need a silicon. So I have at least one in here. Ah, no silicon, dog on it. Doggone it. I'm going to go grab a cup of silicon, guys, and I will be right back. Now, hold on. I got to show y'all this. I just stepped right out the door, and look. It's some aluminum right here. Wow. All right. I am back with the silicon. Let's go on and put this screen down. Bam. All right. No satellite in orbit. Send a mapping rocket into space. Ah, Okay. You got to have a satellite. Well, we built that. We didn't quite need it, but that's okay. Once we launch that satellite, that will make a difference. All right, guys. So when we come back, our goal on the next one will be to get this biodome out and possibly the ore extractor if things unlock. It still might not be unlocked to get that osmium. All right. But let me know what you want to see in the comments. Let me know if you know what this recycling machine does in the comments. I may have to look some stuff up to figure it out but like what do you break down when everything is already completed and you can use the destruction uh the deconstruction in your hand i'm trying to figure out what this is useful for but let me know down in the comments so we'll be back in the next one i'm gonna put some more grass down too oh oh let's check the water collector let's see if water yes it makes water bottles for us that's automated so we ain't even gotta harvest the ice no more unless there's a recipe that needs ice. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. More automation is good. That is dope. Yes, yes. All right, guys. So, yes, we'll be back in the next one. Hit me in that comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this with others, check this out. Charles Macro, Planet Crafter. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game.
the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love, they love money and the fame, 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 fame.